Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another challenge map salvage. Today we are in Agrarian Skies. I've played this once a long, long time ago. So I barely remember how to play. So let's uh, what is all of this? Oh gosh. Contents, quick start guide, wow. Okay, well we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna worry about what? Slash HQM West. There we go. Okay, so here we have our beginner quest for the sky block. For instance, we have first steps, which is to get wood. So that's pretty simple. Uh, yeah. Doo -doo -doo. I plan on making a humongous fortress in the sky. I haven't quite decided what this series, I guess, is going to be called, but that's my idea anyways, is I want like a giant oh! fortress that has like different sectors, you know, there's going to be like a factory and then like a food production facility and all that good stuff. So, eh. Let's chop down this tree. We got the achievement, which means we can also complete that quest. That's what I like about the HQM thing, is that it makes it feel like you, you've got more to do. You've got actual goals to complete and stuff, you know? Instead of, I mean, I also like just roaming around and doing my own thing and just making up my own goals, but at the same time, I do like having quests and I feel a sense of progression. So that's pretty cool about this mod. Ah, so many trees. I wish the mod that immediately like gets rid of all trees was in this, but I guess that might be a problem as you'll find out once you make the crook. Here we go. So we get the guide, which for some reason I already have because it was in that chest. Ooh. Pan of misfortune or pick of tears. Oh, what wonderful option. Oh wait, there, I have to do more? Oh, I have to make, okay, I have to make it into a plank, sorry. Boop. There we go. Are you kidding me? Oh, manual submit. Okay. So pick of tears or pan of misfortune. Meeny, meeny, miny, bo. I want the pick. I want the pick. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, now we gotta make all this stuff. Which is where it gets hard because we definitely do not have enough, you know, ground to work with. So we gotta make ground. I wish one of the things that it would have given me for the first quest would have been some kind of an axe. That would have been super useful. And then I could chop down these suckers super fast. But it looks like it might. Oh, why lag? There's like nothing in this universe. There's literally nothing to be lagging about. It makes no sense. Oh well. So I chop this sucker down. Ugh. I gotta make a crook. I should do that. I should quickly just do this. Make a bench. Make the good bench anyway. Just kind of stick this on the corner here. And then I can make myself a crook. That way I can get more saplings and stuff. What? Did they change it? How do you make a crook? I must know. Here it is. Okay. It's, uh, went the wrong, oh, duh, sticks. I'm a moron. I should have known better. There we go. Two crooks. And I break the leaves faster, and I get more saplings. Ah, so much more efficient. I may, every once in a while, just do some stuff off camera, you know, so that yeah, I don't bore the crap out of all of you with just constantly growing trees over and over again and bashing them like this. It's a pretty, it's a pretty boring thing, so I might, uh, off camera for a little bit, just grow a bunch of trees and then kind of build out a platform so that we have some room to work with, with, you know, completing all the quests and all that jazz, so we can eventually make our fortress of solitude in the sky, except for it's, that's copyright. So it's not the fortress of solitude, it's just the sky fortress that's probably copyright too. <laughs> Let's be honest here, there's got, somebody must have made some kind of a sky fortress thing in a game or in a movie or TV series even, heck, probably. Probably some kind of animated series, right? Some animated it. 
But I digress. Uh, we're doing pretty good, though. We've gotten quite a bit of wood here. Almost a full stack to start building out the platform. So I think I'll do start building the platform after chopping this last tree. Because that'll be that'll probably be a full stack. Or at least pretty darn close to one. And hopefully that'll give us enough room. Because then we need to be able to make more dirt so that we can plant more trees so we're not waiting forever. Because once you're at a bone mill, you know, this game gets pretty darn slow. So we gotta procure the fact that we can get trees at a constant rate without having to use bone mill. AKA a lot of dirt. <laughs> and you gotta space them out even least that, you know, leaves don't overlap each other and crap to the point where you lose a chance to get a certain amount of saplings and all that. So let's kind of go out this way. One, two. You always want to keep trees like four apart. Oh, crap. Because the tree leaves go out two away from the base. So if the base is right here, the leaves will come out to here. Which means we need the leaf for the next tree to be right here. And right here, which means our first secondary spot of dirt will be right there. Ah! And now another thing I hope this mod is in here. Let me see. Uh, oop. Yes. So there's a mod that where you hit F7 and it shows all the X's which are like where mobs can spawn at night. So zombies and skeletons, creepers, all that good stuff. But then if you get red X's that means that they'll spawn even during the day. If it's like if you got a roof over top and walls that are covering up the light then you'll get things spawning kind of all the time, which is a problem. So you gotta make sure that you have good... You don't make your platform too big near the beginning, you know? Because if you do that, then things will start spawning even during the day, depending on what you do. One, two, okay. One more, and then that's where more dirt blocks will go. Right here. So one, two, three, four... Dirt block. And you gotta make sure to hold down shift. That's like, if you don't, you are a gunner. Guaranteed. Okay, right here. And there we go. So we've got now three new spots that we'll be able to put some dirt blocks at some point, which will be super useful. Yay! So this is how you make the dirt. You make an oak barrel, and then you put saplings. I think it takes nine of them per barrel or something. And there we go. Now it is composting. And once we get enough compost, then uh, we'll be able to take that dirt and put it in there. That simple. Piece of cake. There we go. Now, I don't remember. I think in this mod, it makes it to that, like, normal tools. Like, let's see here. If I look up an axe, for example, and I come here, yeah, this tool cannot mine anything. It can only be used for crafting. So in order to, like, do stuff like that, you have to make the, the thing that was in our quest book. If I go ahead and look at that, you can see here we have these different tables. Stencil, tool, station, pattern chest, blank pattern, and a part builder. You make these, and with the... For example, with the stencil table, you take these blank patterns and you stencil in a shape that resembles like an axe head or a pickaxe head. So you can make the different tools. And then from there, you take the part builder and you actually take those stencils that you just made and you make the parts using, like, you take the axe head pattern and then you use, like, uh, what's the first one? Flint or something like that? You use, like, flint on that and it'll make an axe head, a flint axe head. And so you can eventually make some super powerful tools like manillion pickaxes and manillion hammers and some crossbows which are freaking awesome. We're probably going to make some of those because I love me a crossbow. They are so powerful once you get it just right. the If you make the body and the head out of specific materials, some things have faster draw speeds or more durability. And so depending on what you make your tools out of, they'll either be faster or slower or more efficient or 
be able to mine more, depending. You'll even be able to add things like auto repair, where the, the tools will just automatically heal themselves, which is freaking awesome. So we're gonna make sure to take care of all that. I I hope I'm not being too explainy. I kind of want to do this sort of as a tutorial for people who are new. I know it is pretty old, but this has a lot of mod packs, so I kind of want to cover as many as possible and teach beginners how to do these things because you know it's fun. Um, should I make another barrel? Probably don't need one yet. I don't even have enough saplings yet. Cause five dirt. Whoa, whoa, did I start with that, or did that thing make five dirt? I didn't. Either way, I did not notice. Holy crap, if this one barrel makes five dirt, I'll be so happy. If not, then dang it. <laughs> Either way, more trees! Ah, that speed things up so much faster, though. That's amazing. Okay, so now we've got four trees planted. So, honestly, I haven't been keeping track of the time, and I'm thinking that this might be a good... Stopping point, you know, I'll do some off-camera work to grow these trees and mine them in order to extend the platform some more so that you don't have to sit around bored out of your minds doing the TDs crap. And then we'll probably get to, you know, making some tools and stuff, you know, showing you how that this Tinker stuff works and getting our aluminum oil. Ooh, and four eggs. Milk bottle. Okay, so you get some cool stuff rewards for it so yeah i'll do that next so i will see you in the next video i hope that all of you have enjoyed bye